In today's funny story joke, we meet Bill, a man facing a dark night, a fierce rainstorm, and perhaps even darker thoughts about life's mysteries. As he stands there, soaked and shivering, he contemplates the afterlife. Yes, that's right. We're diving deep into the existential pool from the get-go. According to various belief systems, our consciousness might just continue after our physical form bites the dust. But hold on to your umbrellas, folks, because Bill's night is about to take a turn for the absurd. Bill was on the side of the road hitchhiking on a very dark night in the midst of a fierce rainstorm. The night was rolling on and no car went by. The storm was so strong he could hardly see a few meters ahead of him. As he stood there, soaked and shivering, he began to ponder life's great mysteries, particularly the concept of the afterlife or life after death. According to various belief systems, the essential part of an individual's consciousness or identity continues to exist after the death of their physical body. In some views, this continued existence takes place in a spiritual realm, while in others, the individual may be reborn into this world, beginning the life cycle over again through reincarnation. Suddenly, through the swirling rain, Bill saw a car slowly coming towards him. As it drew level with him, it stopped. Desperate for shelter and without really thinking about what he was doing, Bill got into the back seat of the car and closed the door. That was when he realized there was nobody behind the wheel and the engine wasn't even on. Mysteriously and soundlessly, the car started moving slowly forward. Bill looked at the road and saw a curve approaching. Now he was scared and began to fear for his life. Just before he reached the curve, a ghostly hand appeared through the window of the car and turned the steering wheel. This eerie sight made him think of the 1990 film Ghost, where the protagonist, played by Patrick Swayze, navigates the afterlife as a spirit on Earth to protect his beloved girlfriend and solve the mystery of his murder. Sam's spirit world interactions in the film illustrated a form of spiritual continuation where his essence remained active, much like the ghostly hand that was now steering the car. Bill, paralyzed with terror, watched how the hand appeared every time they came to a curve. The experience reminded him of various religious beliefs where spirits linger to complete unfinished business, reflecting both the emotional and metaphysical aspects of life after death. Bill's mind raced through different afterlife concepts, heaven, hell, reincarnation, and now, apparently, ghost chauffeurs. When he saw the lights of a pub down the road, Bill gathered all his bravery and strength, jumped out of the car, and ran to the pub. Wet and out of breath, he burst through the doors like a man possessed and shouted, I need two shots of scotch, pronto. The bartender, seeing the wild look in Bill's eyes, obliged without question. Shaking and half crying, Bill began telling everybody about the horrible experience he had just been through. A silence enveloped everybody when they realized he was not drunk, but was for real. One old timer in the corner, who had seen his fair share of strange things, muttered, I've heard of ghost stories, but this is something else. About 10 minutes later, two guys walked into the same pub. They were also wet and out of breath, looking like they had run a marathon through a car wash. Seeing Bill sobbing at the bar, one said to the other, Hey Bruce, isn't that the idiot who got in the car while we were pushing it? <laughs> if you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here.